Happy Halloween, everyone. This is Dan Plum with a Halloween movie review. Idle Hands, released in 1999, is a comedy horror thriller starring Devin Sawa, Eldon Henson, and Seth Green. Featuring Vivica A. Fox, Fred Willard, Jessica Alba, Jack Noseworthy, with cameos by The Offspring and Tom DeLonge. All right. Yeah. Devin Sawa plays Anton Tobias, a typical stoner kid from small town America. Hey, Mom, we're out of milk! He discovers his parents have been murdered by an infectious evil spirit trapped in his hand. Anton! Despite Anton's best efforts, his hand manages to murder his best friends who become undead ghouls. Vivica A. Fox as Debbie LeCure, a druidic priestess, has been chasing the evil spirit across the country. She enlists Anton's neighbor Randy to hunt down the spirit. Unable to stop his hand from committing heinous acts, Anton chops it off, which sets the hand loose on the town, free to brutally kill whoever it comes across. Whoa. The movie culminates in a battle for life and death centered around a high school dance. Idle Hands makes references to other horror films, poking fun at the genre on a backdrop of a stoner comedy. Scored with a killer soundtrack of rock and metal hits like Santeria by Sublime, Dragula by Rob Zombie, and Push It by Static X. Unfortunately, some of the jokes didn't age well, but that didn't stop 12-year-old me from watching it and re-watching it over again. This is one of those movies that didn't take itself too seriously and really had no shame in being a movie for stoners. For strength. That being said, it ended up being a financial failure considering its $25 million budget and raking in $4.2 million at the box office. That's it? But that may or may not have to do with it being released only 10 days after the Columbine shooting incident. That was probably a mistake! Today, there's still a cult following for this slap-happy flick. Thanks everyone for joining me on this trip down memory lane. See you next time. Quack.